This is Q on CBC Radio 1 across Canada, Sirius 137 across North America and internationally at cbc.ca. Hooded Fang are in studio with me here. April, Daniel, Lorna, Nicholas, or Nick, as his friends know him, and Lane. Interesting story. I, I, you guys, some of you went to school in Montreal or lived in Montreal. Is that true? We all lived in Montreal, I think. Oh, no. five, five of six of us did. Yeah. Five. Five of the six of you. But yes. Right. Is, is it the five of you here, the six person being uh, left off for various uh, reasons? Four of the five here. And <laughs> guess. Guess which one. Is <laughs> I just like making you stand to reach that microphone, April. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so Lane actually uh, didn't go. Didn't Lane didn't much. go. But we didn't know. The pride of Prince Edward Island, you mean? Yeah. yeah, we didn't know each other in Montreal. Well, really? some of us did. Mostly we met. Because my question was going to be why you decided to, uh, I I think it's great that you're back here in Toronto as a Toronto band, but but why you didn't decide to stay in Montreal with its rich indie music scene, with its cheap rents, with its sexy ambiance. stop, please. I don't think, I don't speak French, so I couldn't get an actual job. I want to go back, actually. (laughs) I'm just kidding, I love Toronto. Uh, So, uh, Lorna, Lorna, how long did you go to school in Montreal? I was there for four years. Four years, mm-hmm. and you didn't I learn know, to speak I, French. But, but you know, because every time I would try, I'm really bad at languages, and every time I would try, I'd either get like really nasty looks, or they just start speaking Stuck English. Stuck in the eye. You know? That's true. That's true. It's but I, it's true. I, it's pretty pathetic. No, no, no. It's understandable that you could live in Montreal for four years <laughs> and not learn to speak French. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the Toronto band Hooded Fang are, are here. Um, now you're going to play another song for us. What are you going to play for us? This one's called Pageant. It's, uh... it's, it's often called a song for the lovers, but it's not. It's a song for the depressed people. April, wants, you want to make sure that this is uh, not known as a song for the lovers. Yes, uh, though um, some of our friends like Dave Walksmith, who are dedi- one of the people we're dedicating this song to, he often calls it a song for the lovers, but it's not. He's our ex-guitar player. I should mention that uh, April has uh, dropped the bass guitar and run behind the drums. Daniel, who was playing the drums, has now got an acoustic guitar on. Lane has still got an electric guitar on, but he's changed the color of it. Nicholas, who is behind the keyboards, now has April's bass on. And Lorna is not wearing an instrument, but I, I presume is going to sing this song a little bit in English. The Pageant. This is Hooded Fang, live in Studio Q. So this one's for you, Dave, and Julia, and Haley, and Leanne. Don't be depressed. Like a barrel that's been shot Staring out into the mid-afternoon From a half-empty spot Oh, 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 Pageants long begun And the sound is not so sweet It feels like a ton Come and go, all the players doing nothing while the moons come and go. All the players doing nothing, they're just waiting, waiting for the show.
the scene and turn everything a magic hue. Cause this is the longest cut that it's ever been. While the moves come and go, all the players doing nothing. While the moves come and go, all the players doing nothing. They're just waiting, waiting for the show. They're just waiting, waiting for the show. They're just waiting. I see Don live in Studio Q. That's Hooded Fang and the song The Pageant that appears on their new EP called Hooded Fang. Really nice. It's really nice the way your vocals work together. Thanks. Jeff. Very, very, very smooth. It's, a, it's very pretty and very, very well done.